we'll be looking into weblogic 10.3.6 installation on a Linux machine from a command line mode. Before that we need to download the weblogic jars. Let's start downloading it. Logic server download. Now I go to the first link which will take me to the Oracle downloads. I accept the license agreement and I come down to Oracle Weblogic Server 10.3.6. I take up the generic version which is close to 1 GB. I have this particular jar already downloaded. Let's go to the command line mode. I have this particular jar present. Before installation we will have to check whether java is installed or not and even the java home path we have both installed so let's start installation java hyphen jar this particular file name it will take me to the console mode waiting for extraction okay now uh, this is the first uh, menu which you will be getting once the installer is extracted clicking on next um, this is asking me for the home directory I will keep the home directory as same home destiny oracle middleware let's click on next here if it's asking for me if we need a security updates or anything so this security updates is captioned as yes I would like to disable this so I'll press 3 I will enter no I don't want it and I confirm this by clicking yes so now you see the security updates has been turned to no I'll click next it is asking me whether if I want a typical or a custom installation so I would go for a typical installation so here it is asking if we can add a new JDK path or it's taking the existing we have already checked JDK is present and it is taking the default path so and the estimated size of installation is close to 700 MB I will be clicking next so these are the two product directories where it will be installed weblogic we are interested in the first one next so the following products and JDKs will be installed these are the things which will be installed a basic summary of what is going to be installed next so this is the installation file let's wait for the installation to complete So the installation is currently complete. I would press enter to continue. Yes, this is the end of installation of weblogic. We would see whether it is installed or not. So let's go to CD Oracle middleware WLS server 10.3 and here you can see the files common server and other things so thanks for watching this video